Hello, my name is Sam Crawford. I'm business manager here at the Friary. Uh, the Friary is a registered charity that's been operating in, in the Nottingham area now since July 1988. And since 1988, we've supported many thousands of local people who are suffering issues related to homelessness, or uh, destitution, or social isolation. And we support people here by offering a variety of different services that relate to advice, health, and support. And in, in delivering these services, we hope to work locally to end homelessness. And, and it's that that we're working towards here at the Friary. So Sam, what is the Friary? So the Friary is a local registered charity and our mission is to work locally to end homelessness. Um, we've been operating now in the West Bridgeford area since 1988. Mm -hmm. So what do you actually offer here? So the range of services that we offer uh, goes from the advice facility that we've got which enables us to assess the needs of each person that comes, uh, comes to see us uh, and offer advice on issues related to welfare benefits, debt or housing related issues. In many cases also it enables us to give that person emotional support um, because people present with very emotional situations so that it means we can support them in that way too. Uh, then we've got the health facilities um, which range from the chiropody uh, service to the dentistry facility, the optometry, the GP facility and the homeless nursing team. Um, and we're very proud actually to have such a wide range of health services on offer that enable us to uh, allow for people to access the health facility at the same time as gaining that, the advice as well. Uh, and then the support facilities that we have enable us to give out uh, free food and clothing and the household items and toiletries to people who are in financial destitution, uh, homeless or in many cases in receipt of no income whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And we also have the Sunday Evening Fellowship facility which enables us to allow people to access um, a, a fellowship that is, is uh, innately Christian uh, and it, people can actually come and have, have that, that fellowship with each other and receive some teaching um, on, on the Bible. You've got an IT suite as well, I hear. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we're, there's an exciting new development for us, the IT suite. It's, um, it's a movement towards um, more of a skills development way of working. Because uh, we've identified that we, we always have been, since we started in 1988, we've always been good at crisis intervention. Uh, and we remain good at that and we're proud of that. But actually we need to be doing more than that. We need to be allowing people to develop new skills uh, mm. that enable them to move to independence and ultimately move into employment. Uh, and that's that's our aim. That's our mission. That's what we that's what we want to be achieving. So the, the IT suite is a movement towards that. It's a movement towards um, and enabling people to develop skills in IT uh, that enable them to uh, manage their benefit claim, but also do things like job search activity um, and be more proactive in, uh, in in looking for work. Shall we go and have a look at it? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. This is our IT suite, we've got three computers in here and what we're able to do is provide people access to the internet to do things like job search activity and uh, manage their benefit claims online but also, perhaps more importantly, we're able to provide people with their one-to-one -one support uh, that enables them to develop IT literacy skills uh, that will benefit them in the future. Do you want a bit of everything? Yeah. friend Simon, who's been coming here for a long while, and he's always uh, ad advertising the place for how good they are and what marvellous meals they are. Right. And um, because he's got Parkinson's, I go down and I get him, take him to the bus stop and he makes his way down here. And I get here for 12 o'clock so that it's signed in and he gets a dinner. And they're the best dinners in the world. So how and often do you come? I come every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Okay. I get a dinner. They also give out, for, for the homeless when they've got a new flat, they give out beds, they give out fridges, cookers, televisions, every, everything that's in clothes, food on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, they do all this, and this is for all the homeless, all those that are sleeping down by the canal, those that haven't got anywhere to live at all. And they're marvellous, they're a miracle, a miracle in nothing. Okay Sam, so where are we going now? So we're going to go and have a look at the warehouse uh, where Recovered actually operates from. 
and how long does it take and how often do you pop down there? Um, so it takes about uh, 15 minutes from the friary. Um, I pop down as much as I can, but in reality that turns out to be about once a month. So how many people do you get through the doors at uh, the friary then? Uh, at the moment we're catering for around about 100 uh, people accessing each, uh, each se uh, session. And um, what we found is actually those numbers have remained fairly high over the last year or so, but the, the level of need and the complexity of the need has been increasing month on month. So in terms of the demand that we're being presented with, it's actually much greater than perhaps it was this time last year. How does it make you feel when you see somebody's life turned around as a result of what you're doing at the Friary and, and Republic? Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, that's why I'm in this line of work, really, and that's what motivates me, is when you actually enable someone with potential to achieve uh, the, that potential and actually contribute their, their strengths back to society. And, and, and for, I guess from a spiritual perspective as well, I'm motivated in terms of um, enabling people to realise something of, of self-value and the value that Jesus has for, uh, for them as, as people. Um, so our ultimate aim is to be enabling people to, to achieve their potential and that's certainly what motivates us as an organisation. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm a student at the University of Nottingham and also the leader of Recovered. Recovered is a furniture social enterprise based in Nottingham. We take unwanted items of furniture and then repair it and recycle it in our warehouse and sell it on to people from housing associations who really need it. So this is our stock room. This is where the furniture comes in after it's been delivered by our van. We then assess whether it needs any repairs doing to it and if it does, we'll then do any small things like we'll clean everything up, we'll do any small repairs to hinges or or door handles, things like that, um, and then we'll do that over in our workshop. These four chairs we picked up from a lady in Wollerton got to be completely renovated. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm, take, I'm taking them all apart so they're easier to work on and we do get a better job. Uh, at the moment they're very difficult to work on because when they're open you get your fingers trapped everywhere. You take them all apart you can use a sander on them and it'll be a lot, a lot easier, we can do a better job. Hi Sam, hi Lucy. So how did this partnership between the Friary and, and Actors Nottingham come about? Well, it started really with um, a meeting at the diocese, um, which was um, around creating social enterprise. Um, and I met the president of an Actors Nottingham there um, and she talked about an exciting new project that they were looking to get up and running. Um, around furniture reupholstery and uh, something that we were looking into at the time. Uh, so the conversation st started at that point really and has developed since then. Okay, so Lucy, what does uh, Recovered get out of this partnership? Well obviously, as Sam said, the Friary had already looked into doing a furniture scheme before, so they had a lot of previous knowledge about it and a lot of research that they'd had done. And um, So that was obviously a huge benefit for us while we were trying to create the business model. And then they've also got other expertise with accounting and everything else within their board, which has been really helpful. And then finally, they are um, sending volunteers over from the Friary, so service users there come here to do some work experience in woodwork and they go out on the vans and they can help in the showroom. So that means that we get some, some people to help with us, but they're also developing their skills and hopefully helping them to get a full-time job. Excellent, thank you.